the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the balmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And we've only played the one game since you were with us last. Uh, and that was up against Brighton. It was actually a very important game um, because we just obviously have the fresh off the back of that spanking by Man United. Gets back to winning ways. And we did that 3-1. Lewis Miranda with uh, the opening goal around about 13th minute before Jamie Flinchett made it 2-0 um, just before the ha uh, halftime whistle. I think it's ninth or eighth of the season. And then Pertuccia's uh, free kick was eventually bundled home. Um, who was that? Was that Torreira or was that Lewis Gunn? I'll have a look again, uh, again in, that in a minute. It was Lucas Torreira. Uh, Dale Fry made it a little bit interesting. So in this episode, we are back in the old Europa Cup. Up against Roma and then we're going to take on Bournemouth in the old Premier League. Also, the transfer window has slammed shut. And we've been a little active. Nothing crazy. Uh, on the way out, uh, we've lost uh, Michael Butler. Got Aston Villa on loan. Obviously, we picked him up on a freebie of the summer. Um, obviously, Young still got a little bit of football future for him. He's 23 years age. Danny Rooks also got on loan to Northampton. Uh, again, youngster. Barry Phillips, another one of my youngsters, gone to Stockport, one of our feeder clubs. Um, Jonathan Gilmore, one of our loanees, has gone out on loan to uh, Aston Villa. Um, they're paying us a bit of money for that. And Edwin Murillo, a Colombian youngster, has also gone out uh, on loan to Celtic. So they kind of left us a little short in uh, right back. So we brought in, obviously we brought in Wildermere. Um, he was in the last past couple of episodes. We brought this guy, Kevin Palomino. Uh, he was on my short list. One of only a few right backs on my short list. Um, still could do improvement on his technical skills. Um, but his physicals and mentals are pretty decent. Uh, he could go all the way. He's, yeah, right back for now. Obviously, 20 years old, still got a whole host of uh, years ahead of him. But uh, he'll be my backup right back for the time being. Anywho, we are up against Roma. Uh, we've yet to play each other. I thought we played each other previously, but we've not. They come into this in pretty good form. We're a little bit all over the place at the moment. So hopefully we can get ourselves uh, a nice early win to take it into the second leg back at Ewood. Going to be a little bit cautious on this one. The new signing, Palomino, is on the bench. Uh, Mick Lenars is going to be right back today. Uh, Ivan Ayala is probably going to be my recognised right back, I think, because Mate the Niles is, you know, a bit of a universal player, can play all over the place. Uh, so we're going to go with Henry and Gold, Petuccio Toto, Miranda, Mate the Niles, Flinchett, Torreira, Stepanovic, Garcia, Armstrong, and Wadamir up top. In fact, I'm actually going to make a bold switch and bring Toto off. Um, I just, he's, he, he, he does need some rest. He has been playing th a lot of games, so we'll go. We'll go with that. Total on the bench. Quick look at the Roma lineup. Uh, they're going with a very attacking four-three-three of sorts. Uh, I'm not familiar with many, most of these, if any of these boys here. So maybe I will Maybe I'll be familiar with them afterwards. Eh? So here we go. I'd like to think we could come out of this uh, without a loss. Would be good. So a win or a draw would be great, and then then we can maybe build on something for the second leg. Away goals, probably a massive uh, massive plus point. Flinchett uh, is close to double digits. Maybe he'll get that today. Armstrong to Stepanovic. Long Maisie run. Torreira strikes it, and that goes over. So Torreira and Stepanovic in the centre of mid today. Garcia out on right and Flinchett on the left. Um, yeah, he's starting to kick in the gear now as Flinchett. You know, regular, regular this season. Make the Niles. To Armstrong. Garcia. Like some Maisie Ryder. Took a little bit of a nick. Who's, who's getting that? It's a big fat OG. Rick Carstop. 
Puts it in the back of the net. We'll take it. We'll take any which way it comes. Um, yeah, brilliant. Armstrong with a little simple pass to Garcia and his little mazy run. Uh, his cross. There it is. A bit of a wild one. It was heading towards, not wild of me, but someone. One of my Rovers lads were waiting to, to, to smash it on home. But we'll take it. So edging close to 45 minute whistle, 45 minute whistle, and it is one nil Rovers. Um, yeah, it's not it's not been it's not been one for the eye. It's not been one for the eye, that's for sure. As Maitland Niles is probably the best man on the pitch. Uh, one nil Rovers in command, but only just. Second half gets underway, and Roma will kick us off. Quick change at right back. Uh, Lobo comes on for the unfortunate cars drop. Cars drop. Jack Toe. Penamotti, Jack Doe, Petuccia clears only as far as a Rovers man. Headed inward, bound. Ayala's there, a clean house. Can Rovers build from this? After Garcia on the right-hand side. Goes on the right, sets up Wildermere, but he can't pick up loose ball. Mancini at the back there, looping ball. Torreira breaks it up. Back to Ayala. What we got? Stepanovic. Looking left, going to Torreira. Back to Stepanovic. Passing nicely between him. to Garcia on the wing. Whips a crossing. Flitcher is there. It is double digits for the young Blackburn Rovers Academy player. Coming on through now. Looking good. Can he get in the England squad? Can we get the lad in the England squad? That is uh, that is my quest. Obviously, the quest way back when originally was to get Dak in the England squad. But, uh, but yeah, if we can get one of our own, our actual own, that came through the Academy, I will be thrilled to bits. So 2-0, Rovers have it. Looking good for it as well. 19 shots compared to their 6-9 on target to their 2. Our previous group opponents, Galatasaray, are losing to Arsenal. Garcia with a free kick. Plays it short to Stepanovic. Goes on a mazy run to Petuccia. on the right-hand side. Whips across it. Wildem is there. He does get his rebound. Third goal or since his return in the blue my halves. Now he is giving me a, a conundrum. To think about in the summer. Shall we go out and try and snap him up? I think if we can get for 30 odd million. I think we should we should take it. Because if he can run away. And get double digits for only being here since Feb. And my boys like Dadasov. And and the like. Struggling for um, to get anything. But we are going to bring on uh, Dadasov here. We're going to be a little bit brazen. And, and uh, throw some other boys on as well. Parrot can come on. And Piotto. Just mix it up. So definitely a change of vibe here in the second half. Waldemir uh, getting his third. Flinch getting his tenth. So, yeah. Looks looks in command now. See what the second leg could all go wrong. Hopefully, the boys are switched on and get it over the line. Armstrong free kick. Pelts it straight at goal. Over the top. Kalasinic, I just spotted that. Kalasinic, we know him. Pellegrini, I think we know him, maybe. The last five minutes or so. Rovers look good for it today. They had their, they had their game face. Obviously, that 5-1 spanking quite recently against United kind of hurt. Hurt me. Last chance to loan for another goal. I don't think it's going to happen. Armstrong to Torreira. That's a strike. He does hit the woodwork, so not far off it. But that is the last bit of action. 3-0. Rovers in command of the first leg. Uh, not, it's not job done, but it's job nearly done. Some other big boys in there. AC Milan, Arsenal. Uh, Porto picking up big away wins. So a Bayer Leverkusen. Okay, folks, next up for Rovers, it is the home tie up against Bournemouth in the Premier League. We come into this in third spot after Man City and Man United both played their games. Um, so this is our game in hand. Uh, Bournemouth are in the drop zone looking for some valuable points. A win for them today. Could see them go above Swansea in the old relegation spots, but they'll need a bit of a turnaround in goals. Okay, folks, here we go. With my starting lineup for this match, up against Bournemouth, a couple of little surprises perhaps. Henry between the six, Petuccia, Toto, Miranda, and Nesbitt gets the nod at right back. He's still here on loan. Um, and he's been okay. Just the own goal, the recent own goal was in my head. Torreira Garcia, and I'm going to give Bradley Dak a start today just to just to get him a, get him an appearance. Uh, White, Domingos, and Dallasov up top. Uh, so we have where's Wildermere? Why have I not got him on the bench? Sort that out. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take Palmino out. 
Okay, quick look at the Bournemouth team. Josh Sims on the left-hand side. He's dangerous. Dennis Mann as well. Gareth, well, these two players are, are ones I've always kept an eye on. Um, because I nearly bought this guy. Nearly bought this guy a couple of occasions. This guy was caused his problems as well. Mitrovic is a pain in my ass also. Uh, yeah, let's go. So, pressure is back on our shoulders again, obviously. Man City and United winning recently. Uh, Man City seem to have it under control with their superior goal difference than us. Um, so, it's because we lack a goal scorer. I think our defence can be good. Except for the one we're playing United. <sighs> what have we got up our sleeves, boys? What have we got up our sleeves? Dallas off. This is your chance, mate. You've been. I took a gamble on you bringing you here. I did. And you've and you started being a bitch and a moaner. A moaner. I need to see you score some goals. Breakaway goals. The Adamadar effect. What was that, boys? Bournemouth with the ball back to the keeper. Are they going to punt it long? They try, but Domingos picks it up now from a pass. Whip across in, and Mark White scores a second goal of the season from one winger to another. Completely bypassing Dallas off in the middle there, but who cares? As long as we win, uh, that's the main thing. Domingos picks up the ball, and he just switches play beautifully. And White justifies his start ahead of Flinchett and also ahead of Armstrong, who both featured in the game against Roma. So that's, you know, we've got to, we've got to rotate, boys. We've got to be a little bit more, uh, you know, give, give everyone a shot. Don't want to be stagnant. 30 minutes gone. So if Danisov does not do anything by 60 minutes, he's done. I'm going to bring on Musto or Parrot. So already, already this season... Unless something amazing or drastic happens. Thinking I'm going to offload Parrot. Going to offload Dadasov. Or try to anyway. Tucha Garcia switches it out to right. Ten there's a bit. Moving forward. Dimbling. White snapshot. Uh, Thiago Volpi, the goalkeeper. Uh, highlight keeps going. Toto this time head, head is up to Josh Sims. Who keeps it going. Mitrovic. Henry saves. But Mitrovic is there for the rebound. And we are... Don't know what we're doing. Show some passion, lads. This is this is not great. This is not good. Yeah. Let's let's regroup. Second half. Maybe make some personnel changes already. Okay. Double change by Rovers. We're getting we're getting a little bit more uh, cautious, but hopefully this will open up a couple more doors um, with our passing. We got we got the three man midfield back in place. Torreira, Stabanovic, and Garcia. Dak's been pushed further forward. Can he be a hero today? Can he? Can he? Right now, it doesn't look like it. Did Bournemouth do us over earlier? Or was that in FIFA? I can't remember. Okay. Let's get into the nitty gritty now. Petuccia. Looks like we might have a penalty. We might have a penalty. Nesbitt was shoved. Garcia. Brave. Brave. Not changing anything at the moment. We're just going to sit this out. You just got to win ugly. Win ugly. And that is what we're doing at this moment. Just... Hold it back there, guys. Here come Bournemouth. Ruig. Vaskovsky. Sergio. Don't like it. Don't like it. Petuccia. Back to Henry. Place it to Miranda. Ugh. Lofts it long. Step out of it. Oh, goodness. Bull. Sims. It's a carbon copy. It's an effing carbon copy of the first goal. Cannot keep your flipping hands by your side. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Troy Parrot. You're, you're it. You are it. What's going on here now? What's going on here? I've been, I take my eye off the ball for one flipping second. Show some passion. We're going straight for very attacking here because this. <sighs> could be costly, guys. This could be costly for the grand scheme of things in the Pram de la Pram. 
that is made with my my gamble. Gonna bite us in the ass. Gonna bite us in the ass here. Running out of time. In fact, we've run out of time. Step out of edge. Nesbit. Crosses. Over. Balls. Well, that's probably going to be a very, very expensive draw in the grand scheme of things. It's definitely a winnable game. Puts us two points adrift of Man City, and we've all played 26 games. There's still a whole bunch of games left. Let's have a look at Man City's running. They do take on us. We've got, we've got a win or bust game against them. They've also got to play Man United. They've got to play Arsenal. They've got to play Chelsea as well. Uh, so it's not... Yeah, let's... let's there's still um, a good few banana skins along the way for all of us. As for us, we have Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool and Burnley and Spurs. The Liverpool game is, is massive. Um, but anyway... In the next episode, folks, you're going to not miss a beat. We'll be back for the Roma second leg, and then we'll have the Fulham game uh, in the FA Cup. And then we'll probably plough plow forward until the, the Chelsea-Brentford. I don't know what we'll do here, actually. I don't know. We'll see. There might be there might be another cup game in there to separate it all up. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place, as we continue to try and make Rovers great again, boys and girls. We're doing it the hard way. Yes, we are. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>